we got to talk about this. This is so wacky, so crazy. This Doug Mastriano of Pennsylvania. Um, I mean, where's this going to end? Where, where's it all going to end? He just proposed a bill to combat chemtrails rooted in conspiracy theory and climate science. I, I just don't even know what to, to say about this, folks. I mean, it's um, these people just seem to plumb new depths of insanity. Uh, and, and nobody seems to really care. Nobody seems to say, raise your hand if it's weird, you know. Um, these people are looking, and here's a picture of a chemtrail. The picture here, this article is actually coming to us from the Pennsylvania Capital Star by Peter Hall, March 22nd, 2024. And they're showing a picture of a chemtrail, just in case we don't know what that is. This plane happens to be flying over Chester County, Pennsylvania. Chemtrails have been following planes. It's a matter of the condensate from the engines in the combustion process. I mean, it's crazy that we're even talking about this, but this guy thinks it's a really weird conspiracy, you know, that, um, that he seems to think, and these, a lot of these people that have conspiracy theories, they seem to think that if they're the first one to point something out that nobody else seems to know about, that makes them smarter. That makes them more intelligent. So here's this guy looking up at chemtrails, you know, like, like chimpanzees in, in some sort of, you know, outdoor pen. You know, you would expect chimpanzees to maybe do something like this and sort of entertain the crowd with their antics, right? Ooh, 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 you know. But this is a state senator that's doing this from Pennsylvania. In fact, folks, I'll read from the article here. A state senator who was the 2022 GOP nominee for Pennsylvania governor, if you can believe that, has proposed legislation to outlaw experimental weather modification techniques falsely associated with the chemtrail conspiracy theory. The false belief that condensation trails left by high-flying aircraft are actually trails of chemicals, released by the government for nefarious reasons, of course, has become conflated with techniques being explored to reduce the amount of solar radiation absorbed by the atmosphere. So in a memo seeking support for his bill, Senator Doug Mastriano, Republican from Franklin, Pennsylvania, said new technology and a proliferation of weather modification patents owned by a combination of federal government agencies, non-government or governmental organizations, and large multinational corporations have brought forward the need to update Pennsylvania's law. It, it's like he... I swear they think they're ahead of something cutting edge. You know, they don't know technology, so don't expect them to, like, you know, circulate conspiratorial theories on anything sort of IT because, you know, their, their grandchildren know more than they do. So yeah, they, they use stuff like this, you know, chemtrails up in the sky is, is their sort of modus operandi here when it comes to you know, these conspiracy theories. But the article goes on to say, the legislation would ban the release of substances within the borders of Pennsylvania to affect temperature, weather, or intensity of sunlight. It would mirror legislation that passed in the Tennessee Senate on Wednesday. you got to be kidding me. So now Tennessee's doing this too? we got to find who the crazy is in Tennessee. Because we got one here. we got one right here, Doug Mastriano. Mastriano is an election denier, of course. Why not? Why not? It just goes with the territory, right? Who lost his 2022 gubernatorial bid to Governor Josh Shapiro, thank God, has made repeated references to the chemtrail conspiracy theory on social media. In other words, he just won't give it up. In a November Facebook post with a photo of condensation trails in the sky above Chambersburg, Mastriano wrote, I have legislation to stop this normal contrails dissolve evaporate within 30 to 90 seconds just you know just like i said chimpanzees at an outdoor pen at the zoo <laughs> chemtrails you got to be kidding me normal contrails dissolve evaporate within 30 to 90 seconds depending on the atmosphere depending on what the hell's going on doug <laughs> god 
So the article says condensation trails or contrails for short form when hot moisture laden exhaust from aircraft engines hits the frigid air at the altitudes where commercial and military jets cruise. The moisture condenses and becomes visible in the same way you see your breath on a cold day. It's not rocket science, Doug. A claim among chemtrail believers is that condensation trails dissipate immediately and trails that persist consist of chemicals, like Doug just said. The longevity of the trails depends on the amount of moisture already in the air, with drier air leading to shorter-lived contrails, according to the National Weather Service. Well, there you have it. Um, I mean, it doesn't take a genius, does it, folks? It's a lot of common sense here. Cloud seeding in which particles of silver iodide are sprayed into the clouds, has been used since the 1950s in attempts to induce precipitation or to prevent damage to crops from hail. The crystalline silver iodide particles attract water droplets which cluster together until they grow too heavy to stay in the air and fall to the ground as rain or snow. It's employed by several western states in efforts to alleviate drought and can increase precipitation from storms by 5 to 15%. The AP has reported, and I recall as a kid in Florida, we had some severe droughts and they went out and they did this and believe it or not, it actually worked. I don't know if it worked tremendously, but it did produce some rain and nobody threw up a stink. You know, this was like 1979, you know, yeah, way back, but it wasn't part of the deal back then to throw up a conspiracy theory. You know, once we understood that the silver iodide was innocuous, you know, who gives it? Who gives a rat's ass, right? I mean, if it's going to rain when you need it, that's, that's what everybody wants. So it, the article says in Pennsylvania, a 1967 law inspired by unauthorized attempts to suppress hail in central Pennsylvania requires anyone who wants to try cloud seeding to get a license from the State Department of Agriculture. Right. Yeah, we, we don't want it to be so successful to where it produces hail, although I've never heard of that happening. But nonetheless, the protection's there. The Department's Weather Modification Board has never received a license application <laughs> and has never investigated unauthorized cloud seeding. Deputy Press Secretary Jerry J. Losowicz said in an email, the process referred to in Mastriano's tweet is even more experimental called geo, solar geoengineering, it could provide a method to mass global warming as a result of accumulated greenhouse gases. But if it's ever used on a large scale, there's a risk of physical harm and socio-political impacts, according to Harvard University applied physics professor David Keith, who leads a group researching the idea. You know, it's also funny to note that Doug Mastriano, I will bet you anything does not believe in global warming. So it's interesting that he's worried about a process that is trying to mask global warming when he doesn't even believe in in the freaking process to begin with. He doesn't believe global warming. So going back to the article, it says the group said on its website, it is confident that there is no program testing solar geoengineering outdoors. So it's like who whoever is doing this geoengineering has said there's no program testing this anywhere outdoors. Mastriano's memo cites a February Wall Street Journal article, though, claiming the newspaper had confirmed active field tests of the proposal in Israel and Australia. However, the article states that the substances used in the test are smoke and seawater. Smoke and seawater. You know, I, I think we we don't want to breathe a lot of smoke, but we're not that concerned, right? At least at the level they're probably going to use it here. In seawater, we know about that. We know that's not going to take us out. It shouldn't be the the bedrock of a conspiracy theory. The article goes on to say that on the subject of chemtrails, Keith said there's little evidence to support the conspiracy theory with the main claim being that airplane contrails look different. That's Doug's claim. Airplane contrails look different. Look, woo, 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 there they go. 
Keith added that if such a program existed, it would require a vast operation and tens of thousands of people keeping it secret. Would be impossible. You know, and, and Doug Mastriano, folks, has been up to uh, these crazy antics before. Here's an article from the Daily Beast. And there he is, pointing up to the clouds, just like a chimpanzee. <laughs> this guy. But, you know, he's he's peddled other conspiracy theories, which are just as insane. Mastriano, the article says in, in this uh, article from Daily Beast, says Mastriano, Mastriano ran a paranoia-laden campaign to become Pennsylvania's governor. He was an outspoken proponent of false claims about the 2020 election, even participating in efforts to overturn the election in Donald Trump's favor and help charter buses to a January 6th rally that preceded the Capitol attack. Well, isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Well, I guess that um, we talked about this. I guess that just makes him a patriot, doesn't it, folks? According to Donald Trump, Doug Mastriano, you're not only a, a, a baboon pointing to chemtrails in the sky, but you're you're also an idiot. I mean, patriot. Till next time, folks.